Welcome back everyone and today we have another video where two female cops try to violate these men's first and fourth amendment rights and lie about it on camera just to avoid accountability. But first, don't forget to leave a like and what really helps is a comment with your thoughts to help these videos get out there to bring awareness to everyone of their rights and help to end police misconduct. And as usual, I will leave the link to the original video in the description so go visit this channel and show me your support. No, I'm good, thank you. Why are you out here? I'm filming. Why? Because I'm filming. You need to move along. What's that? You need to move along. I need to move along? Yes. No, I don't. You're gonna get hit. Okay, I'm not blocking the driveway at all. You can't give me unlawful orders and directives. Can I get your name and badge number? Yeah, what's your ID? I need your name and badge number first. All right. You have to suspect I'm committed a crime in order to ask for my ID, but uh, what's your badge number? You can't be filming over here. I can't, I have a public property, filming public property. You can't be filming over here. Um, you're gonna have to get your supervisor. I'm on public, I'm on a public sidewalk filming. I'm absolutely loud and protected on my first amendment. You can't be filming our gate and stuff like that. That is incorrect. I have gone viral on YouTube over these videos. When people try to stomp on the rights, we are allowed to be here. It is protected under the First Amendment, and you have to identify yourself with your name and badge yeah, number I'm when you're Sergeant asked. Marshall, ID 7070. Okay. I need you to call a supervisor if that's the order you're trying to give me. All right, here's my captain. Okay. How are you? How are you doing? Good. What can I help you with today? I'm just filming. I'm a citizen journalist. I'm doing a story on the police department. What's a citizen journalist? Can you just explain that to me, please? Free, freedom of press. It's under the First Amendment. We are all allowed okay. to become citizen journalists. Okay. Okay, is there anything that you need in particular? Absolutely not. I wasn't even engaging you guys at all. Okay. Uh, what's well, your name and badge number again? Laura McLean, 5119. Okay. I wasn't engaging you guys at all. Okay. Okay. No, and that's fine, but we get curious when we have people hey. that are filming. Let's you are... Hold okay. on, can I finish? Yes. I let you finish. We just get curious people out here filming us wanting to know what's going on, so mm -hmm. that's why we're contacting you to find out if you need anything or if anything's going on. That I do not need out. anything. You don't need anything? Absolutely How not. How long do you plan on being out here? I have no idea yet. I honestly was almost done with leaving before she started being a psycho and well, giving me she's, orders. She's not. She's... Okay, she's, but you can't get out and give unlawful orders and demand ID okay. if you don't have any articulable suspicion of me committing a crime. Okay. Sir, we, we can ask you for ID, but okay. there comes a point where you either want to show it to us or yeah. you don't. And I declare and then she told me to move along. Let me finish, okay. okay? I didn't interrupt you. I'd appreciate it if you don't interrupt me, okay? Is that fair? I will agree to that for okay. now. Okay. So, yes, we can ask people for ID, and it just depends on the situation if they want to give it to us or not, mm -hmm. or if they're lawfully have to give it to us or not. But we can ask anybody. Absolutely. Hey, what's your name? But you know, she can't spout unlawful orders okay. of a citizen. Well, Absolutely not. And there's no way you're going to convince me otherwise. I, did I say anything about any Okay, but you haven't one time okay, said... I'm sorry. What's your name? Mike. We'll Mike. go with that one. Okay. You keep interrupting me. So apparently you're not going to let me finish my sentences. But you didn't interrupt her when she's giving me unlawful directives. Okay. Because I was on the radio putting out our location here. Okay. So I wasn't listening to what she was exactly saying. No, she okay. told me sure. I had no I'm right to stand here. I'm talking. It doesn't matter. I'm allowed okay. to talk over you if I want. Okay. You just want to be rude. Then. It's not about that. You okay. you guys are trying to bully me and give me unlawful directives. She told me I can't be on a public sidewalk, which is false. I didn't say that. You said, you said I need to move along and I cannot film here. That is complete, you, here you cannot want, but I can. This is my right. I am exercising my right. Yeah. I am allowed to exercise my right. There is no directives that will be lawful that you can give me to tell me to move on. Okay. That just can't happen. It will not happen. Well, I was saying you needed to scoot back because the car wasn't hit. I absolutely don't. They had plenty of room to get in. Nobody was in threat of being hurt or run over. I'm this, like, look how far I am away from these vehicles and yourself. Okay. I'm not a danger to anybody, but you guys are treating me like I'm a danger Mike, to you. Hold on one second. Let me, let me finish, okay? Another car was trying to come in. And, and I was not in the Mike, way. let me finish. I, you don't, hey, you're not talking to me okay. like you're my mom. Well, okay. you're acting like a child, so yes. Okay, okay. go away. You're dismissed. Okay. You're dismissed. 
This fool thinks that she could direct everybody to not be on public property. That's fucking great. Now, this shows exactly why you can't trust the police. First, as you can see, they don't care about laws, rights, and most definitely, they don't care about civilians. Second, they are allowed and they will lie to you to make you forfeit your rights, even if you don't know it. And lastly, this female captain just showed us the disdain that they have towards members of the public that know the law, and that, as usual, the police has zero accountability for their actions. And this is why it is so important for you to know your rights and to help us to bring awareness to the rest of the public. So don't forget to support the channel by subscribing, like the video and leave a comment to keep the conversation going. And remember, always record the police.